You guys, it's finally going down. What it do, y'all? We're here for a mukbang. Yes, we're here for a mukbang. So I'm just here to eat. Yeah, I'm just here to eat. Because <laughs> let me tell you, I'm the only want. one excited to do this. Video. Let me tell you how dedicated we are to do this video for you. Five hours later, it's it one is in the morning. One o three to be exact. In the morning, in the a.m. And we went in to the, the restaurant five times to get this order right. We did. Because they messed it up. Let me tell you that, first of all, every time I send Babe to go pick up the food, he comes back with wrong things. Maybe you order every wrong. Every single... Have you noticed that? But here's every the thing. Here's the thing. Time. But wait. There's more. She doesn't give me an itemized list of what she orders, so how am I supposed to know what they get? But I feel like... That the restaurant should get it right, and so I shouldn't have to but call you like, and ask you everything no, that No, I feel got. like, as my husband, you should know innately what I ordered. Not from this place. You know I didn't order no chocolate chip cookie. Actually you would you though. No. It's I've possible. never gotten a chocolate chip kazooki. We've only been there. there twice. I've been there multiple times. <laughs> with who? <laughs> 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 I went with Sean and Missy. Remember? I don't know what she's going with other people is. now. Gay Babe TV coming at ya. What a bitch joy. Yes, welcome. We have a special guest, oh, Justin. Hi. And we went to BJ's restaurant. BJ's Brew House. You guys remember when we went to LA and we like did a taste test, test, test of their like new stuff? Yeah. So, okay, let's Can give we... you the rundown. Yeah, let's open oh, and oh, tell oh, them what we got. Okay. So I have a side salad. Side yeah. salad. Side salad. And salada. So I have some coleslaw that I didn't order. <laughs> and oh, I have some, some coleslaw spinach that I didn't order. Why is it so hard? You know, this salad looks really good. I asked for balsamic dressing though, and it appears that they gave me ranch. Looks good. <laughs> so we've got some avocado egg rolls. Oh, and we got mm. some calamari. Calamari. Uh, yeah. And then some. we all, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, this is my cauliflower side of. Uh, what's it called? Turmeric, 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 turmeric cauliflower. Roasted yeah. cauliflower. And then I got couscous mac and cheese. Oh. And, and I, I got some ribs too, but I'm not gonna open them until we're all gonna enjoy our ribs. Oh, open them so there. we can do a screenshot. Okay. I'm gonna let all my heat out. <laughs> so we all got ribs. We all got ribs. Mine are vegan ribs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we all got ribs. I got asparagus. Just think of wait from my other side. Oh, it's the couscous. I got uh, <laughs> good, good. cheddar mashed potatoes and uh, quinoa brown rice. Cheddar potatoes and ribs. I probably need to come over just a little bit. Come over. I won't bite you. Lies. You know Lies. Me <laughs> telling. I want you to. So. Uh, Okay, so right. we don't really know how to do this. We don't. I think you just eat and talk. So I asked the peeps on my Instagram what we should talk about. You guys. I'm really mad they gave me ranch dressing. It's like everything that I ordered, they gave me something different. Yeah, I feel like this. And I don't have a salad. list. So I don't even like ranch dressing. I feel like, like this is your salad. Is that balsamic? It's like a peanut sauce or something. It looks like peanut sauce. I don't know what that is. Okay. But I don't know that one. Well, ranch. I get the mystery sauce. Do I have balsamic dressing? No. I say you roll with it so we get the full BJ okay. experience. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like ranch dressing? I'm not a big ranch. I used fan. to be a big ranch fan. I'm actually a blue cheese fan now, which was, I used to hate blue cheese. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer it. balsamic or. Um, like red wine vinegar and olive oil. She likes that's anything that doesn't. Does she likes anything that's like not actually good. Yeah. I prefer food that's not burnt. What kind of salad dressing do you prefer? I like the salad. Yeah. 
that honey Dijon balsamic vinaigrette you got in the fridge. All right, well, let's say grace together. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, who else prays that they muck mine? Bang. Bang, bang, bang. Somebody told me that it's pronounced mukbang. 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 All right. Mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. Hopefully, we've covered it. Hopefully, we've covered it. All right. Lord, thank you for this food. Please let it nourish our body and let this mukbang, 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 mukbang. Go well. <laughs> Amen. I just thought it was going to get like, God, it's great. God, it's good. And we thank you for our food. Nope. Amen. And why did Jesus weep? Jesus weep. All right. All right. This is a nice little side salad. Uh-oh. They got croutons it's and cheese. Juicy. It's That's not like normal for us. Oh, shit. Sure. I got some stuff Ooh. This is stupid good. Mm-hmm. You like turmeric? I don't really like turmeric. Say that out. Mm. That's what's about to go down right there. Hey, I'm not feeding you, by the way. <laughs> I won't mm. feed you. <laughs> I won't feed you a bite, by the way. It's just spinach and what? Mm. Mm. It's it's just spinach. It's just no, a bunch bro. of leaves of spinach. Yo, so the dressing is a little spicy. They got blue cheese crumbles. Yeah, blue cheese crumbles are hidden in the it's salad. Spicy. Tomatoes, bacon, and spinach. You're right. It's simple, but this is on point right here. You gotta try this. Mm. You want to try my salad? Mm-hmm. I don't know what salad. Oh, this, this, um, this coleslaw that I didn't order is good. Is it? I don't like coleslaw. Do y'all like coleslaw? It depends on who's auntie made it. I think it's because I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. It's good. So. It's Miracle Whip, Shotty. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's Miracle Whip, Shotty. Yeah. Mm. Y'all have salad? That's really good. Y'all have salad average. It's average because of that ranch dressing. No, I'm just saying. Balsamic would have took it up a couple notches. Try that, bro. It's good. Oh, okay. So let me look and see what the peeps asked us to talk yeah, about. Yeah, because we don't know what to talk about. Because we're just going to be sitting here chomping. And this Never is so weird anyway. because I feel like this is the first time I've ever like not covered my mouth while I was eating on Game Baby TV. What? So it's like peanut sauce. Is it peanut sauce? No, it tastes like peanut sauce. They don't yeah, taste like peanut sauce to me. Yeah. It tastes like a Thai something. Thai peanut sauce? Thai peanut sauce is Thai. Okay, maybe. <laughs> right. I mean, I ain't making it up. <laughs> I out. guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's good. Um, that's my jazz. Mm. <laughs> she said that ain't no peanut sauce, but it's like Thai Oh, or Justin, first question, then for you. Oh, okay. I don't know if you want me to ask you this, though. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> if I don't want to answer it, I'll put a whole bunch of food in my mouth. Uh, where are you living now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Moving on. Are you dating? Mm, mm. <laughs> mm. 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 All right. Okay. And a funny story with you and Gabe. Oh, wow. I don't know that we have funny stories. Do we have funny stories? So... I am currently looking for a permanent residence in Florida, North Carolina. I will actually be leaving Indiana in the next two days to explore that. We're so sad he's leaving, too. We aren't going to get any more gourmet meals. Yeah. Because you couldn't understand what she said. She said gourmet meals. Gourmet meals. Because she's like, she was like, well, I'll go to my heavy meals. This is so dry. So I will very soon become a resident of the South. But I can't give up my Hawaii license and plates right now. Dirty stuff. Thank y'all for me. Am I dating? Yeah. Does it, does it count if I'm unsuccessfully dating? Yeah. I mean, okay. you try. I'm trying to date. Yeah. And a funny story of you and I. I don't think. I don't know that we have a funny story. No, I got one. What? Once we got paid a hundred dollars <laughs> and some generic tennis shoes to perform in a club that we weren't old enough to even walk into. No, at the top of Circle Center Mall when yes. it first opened, called World Mardi Gras. I completely yes, that is the funniest. We thing. practiced for like months. Myself, Gabrielle, Angelique. No, Angelique Franklin? don't sing. Was it Angelique Franklin and, and Javon? No, was it Andrea? Andrea. It was Andrea, Andrea and, and Javon. Javon. 
and we did Earth, we Wind, and Fire. All the Earth, Wind, and Fire like songs. Like the whole month, like Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. We had, we had on blue jeans and black shirts. And we was ready to go for, we could sing for a whole hour and a half, and we sung for like two and a half songs. We were probably like 16. 16. And in a twenty one and up club, so we thought we was we like was doing, doing it. it. We was you like, know, we was like, we, we, we the we there. the the performers, Performing. like we were the entertainment. We you had know, I real what happened to that guy because that guy was really cool. He was that, man, cool. He was cool. He, was he really probably cool. got arrested. <laughs> He's probably in jail. So lesson of the day: I don't wish I had hire a underage kids to sing in your club. <laughs> I wish I had a picture to show you all because we really thought we was doing it. Like yeah, we had rehearsed. I bet you the coolest. You do guy. have a picture. It was I'll in your it. senior book. It was oh. for the RCA tennis tournament. Man, Ugh. and we sang, and I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. That is a funny story. Other than that, I used to tell everybody the reason you got the scar on your head is because someone pushed you out the screen door. You did. And, and that's could it be further from the truth. But I thought it was I'm funny. sure that I've told you guys this before, but it's probably been years ago. Do you know how I got my scar? You yeah, fell through the screen door. Someone pushed you out the screen door. Nobody pushed me. You fell through the screen door. Just kicked you right out. Boom. Thank you, my love. <laughs> yes, I was downstairs in that ass basement. Uh, well, not her basement, in her beauty so, beauty shop. And I could have swore I heard my mother call my name, or either Nana call my, I can't remember who I was down there with, but one of them called my name, so I thought. And I went running, and then I had like an area rug, and that mug just... Gone. Gone. So it was and like I when was you slip, like, you know, with a cartoon slip on banana peel. <laughs> I <laughs> slipped <Ooh>. forward. <laughs> Into the bottom of her like plate glass. Is it plate glass or plate glass? Either way, it's glass. It, but it's but it's, it's not glass. real glass. I don't it's know. It, it was the bottom, and I feel like she still has foil on the bottom of that <laughs> that door now. Like I don't know that she ever fixed the door. <laughs> and that's where I got my scar. I don't even know what side it's on. Okay. The yeah. Harry Potter scar. The scar. What, was it you or Kelly? Thank you, love. That I've had it since I think I was like three or four when I had it. Was it you or Kelly that that was jumping on the couch and fell through the couch and cut themselves on the back of the springs? Of the couch? It must have been Kelly because it wasn't me. Okay, again, I don't remember that story. I'm just making up stories. Making yeah, up. pretty much. Was it you that <laughs> was it you that went to dunk the basketball on a seven and a half foot rim and, and missed it? You actually missed it and ran into the pole face first. Yeah, <laughs> was that you? No, okay. 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 double oh, TV. Yeah, my, must yeah, have been must someone. Must have been else. somebody else. Like they're oh. okay. They're okay. You try going over? They're not like Hula Hands. They're, they're definitely not the chicken avocado rolls from Hula Hands. Mm. You gonna try one? He. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I get you. We get it all off. <laughs> we get it all off here. <laughs> <My bad. clears throat> well, at least let's let's try this one together. <clears throat> Uh, Where kind of sauce was that? I don't know. It was just in there, so I dipped it. Did you try the sauce bag? I didn't. Uh -huh. You said no, you're not going to do it. Mm. It's not that good. There's like a weird flavor in there. Right? I don't taste the weird flavor. You taste the avocado. It's a whole lot of avocado, though. It's not like a meat. No. It needs a chicken or something. Mm. It needs somebody's chicken. Yeah, the ones at Hula Hands are much better. Much better. Mm. I can see why he gave these to us for free. Mm. Right? Yeah. Because they knew they weren't going to sell them. They were like, yeah. Hmm. All right, well, I'm moving on to the ribs. <coughs> I bet if they were fresh. I'm moving on to ribs, y'all. Are you? Yeah, what's the next question on the list? Um, Would that answer satisfactory? I don't care. I mean, oh. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like a. I, mean, I guess sure, it's satisfactory sure, to the test, sir. I appreciate it. Is this weird watching us eat? I feel weird eating in front of y'all. I do too. I know we don't like hearing I usually like it. cover my mouth. She does. I don't care about she black. She black. Because I be getting into it. Well, it'd be different if like the camera was like all up in your face. Mm. Like on the other one where she had the lips. It was the, like you couldn't even see her face. Just, it was just all, it was just this here mm -mm. in the pan. That food looked so good. If I could just recreate whatever she was eating. Boy. It looked amazing. I agree. 
Okay. We'll link the the uh, video. I had to put this up, or else I'm not gonna have room for my ribs. Mm. Or our dessert. Oh yeah, we got pizzukis. What's a pizzuki? It's a cookie, like a cookie sundae. So they got chocolate chunk cookies, and I got salted caramel. It was so good. Well, they had to go back and get my salted caramel because they gave me the wrong kind. And I was Prices. like, Nah, bro. If I'm about to cheat. I'm not gonna cheat on what I want. <coughs> Don't be get. Did you just get rid of on the carpet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey, we just got our carpet replaced today, guys. It's so cute. You should have seen it. By the time this video comes up, you should have seen it. Yes. Yeah, I love it. We made a good choice on the carpet. Yes, we did. The camera is like salty. Yeah, it's very really salty. salty. Mm -hmm. But not bad, I guess. Mm -hmm. But not like wow. Okay. It's Next a, question. I think it's from the uh, the Saltwater Lake in uh, Wisconsin. Oh, is that where the yeah. Calmar came yeah. from? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good to know. Yeah. As long Wisconsin. as it didn't come from Indiana Beach, I guess we're okay. Right. Somebody said, how do you handle arguments, decision-making differences and all? Yeah. We have a whole couch conversation about that. We don't. No. Um, but we do have a couch conversation about it that I will link. It's very old, but it, nothing has changed. I mean, we just, we just communicate, y'all. Anyway. <laughs> we communicate. <laughs> well, yeah. That's <laughs> no, the whole part of me saying I was going to link it. But no, go for it, babe. Answer a question if you'd like. I answer now. Y'all all sat on the answer. <laughs> just got a smart mouth over here. <laughs> we about to, you know what, we about to. We gotta pause the video and argue about it. You gonna witness the argument, right? <laughs> We're about to argue about it. Nope, it ain't even worth it. Okay. Today was rib special Thursday. Mm, yes, we got a, a bomb deal. Do people still say bomb? Yeah, especially in a mukbang video. <laughs> bong, bong, bong. It was a bomb deal. <laughs> bong. Yeah, so we got that deal was bomb. We got the ribs. It was muck and bone. <laughs> soup or salad. Two sides. No soup, because they had no soup. Mm. I don't bring soup it up. or salad. Don't bring it up. I think they had soup. They just didn't want to heat whatever they had to heat up. Oh, he's like, like, he's like, do you have any other soup? No, we're all out no, of soup. No soup. <laughs> Every soup's gone. Every soup's gone. <laughs> Every oh, soup. In the entire, have, maybe have put it up in the entire BJ chain is out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we can and, fly you in from, from Bosnia, but they, you know, there's none here. And the pizuki. All for like $15. Yes. Now that is a bomb deal. Special. That's a muck bomb deal. <laughs> and these ribs? What are these pork ribs? Now normally I don't mess with the swine. I don't mess with the swine. But today... That's when you don't mess with the swine. The swine. You just put bacon in our burgers yesterday. I said normally. Oh. Was that for the two last two nights? He's right. on vacation, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. The meat's tender. Yeah, it's not bad. It would have been nice to have a little extra sauce on that. The sauce is kind of sweet. It's real sweet. It's good. They, they got good ribs, though. You know, I would say that I just started liking ribs. Maybe like a year ago. What? And then, I mean, I still like have to be in the mood. I only got them today because mm -hmm. they were cheap. <laughs> and they came with so much more than what I was going to get. Yeah, I was going to get You sandwich. never had ribs like barbecue heaven? I never said I never had it. And I just... I'm the same way though. Like for me, barbecue like ribs. I don't have to have a rib. I'm lazy. If I'm a lazy eater. If I never have another one, I'll be okay. When you eat ribs, like you can't be lazy. It's just like when you eat crab it's legs, like you can't be crab. lazy. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like a meal where you have to be fully invested mm -hmm. emotionally, physically. <laughs> Not emotionally. <laughs> you gotta be ready to marry the ribs. Yes, but I don't know about emotionally. Emotionally, because you, get you gotta go through the emotional turmoil of continue to crack them stupid shells. I only get like a chunk a of meat. Crab legs. Mm. I will mess up some crab legs, okay? We all have a crapped We all have a crapped a um a leg knowing that you about to get the biggest chunk of meat ever. You get nothing. And then you get you get this little piece right here. You no, know. but I solved that for you, babe. I showed you how to do it for real, remember? You did, you helped me. <laughs> I was mm. eating a piece and he was like How you do that? And that just got all over my face. <laughs> Oh, that's real. When I closed it, it just you better not get that on the carpet. Did you just get something on the carpet? Did no. you get something? On, we girl, no. 
We just got carpet today. <coughs> I'm just doing the same thing you do earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was funny. Hey, what was that. I saying? I don't even remember. Ribs, commitment. Commitment. Commitment to the rib. Uh, commit to the rib. Commitment. What? Talking about relationship? Are we talking about rib? It's like the same thing. Y'all make well, you are my rib. rib. You were made for my ribs. So there it is. We're, actually, we're always talking about ribs. <laughs> Message. <laughs> always talking about ribs. Okie dokie. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You my okay. rib girl. <coughs> <laughs> you my barbecue rib. Relationship and faith. <laughs> That's how you know Jesus. I'm not really sure. What did you say? That's how you know Jesus. What he was black. <laughs> what he made Eve from a rib? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I don't get it, but now I get it. That's nah, funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, I don't know. White people mess up some ribs too. Case in point. <laughs> Where? Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did y'all hear me? Relationships and faith. I'm not really sure if that's a question or just a topic she wanted us to consider. To con- wait, consider? No, I would to cover. I think is what I was trying to say. Relationships and faith. And faith. Okay. You know, you can talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I'm I, you up like I feel like you definitely can talk about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you on blast like that. Wow, she really put you on blast, but she was correct, <laughs> case in point, that you could talk about. Yes. Do you feel like it's important to be equally yoked mm. with your significant other? And we ain't talking about the breakfast spot either. Mm. So, what's the. Can you rephrase the question for me? There's, it's not really a question. It it's just says relationship and faith. Yeah. So, do you believe that you should be equally yoked with whoever you are dating or decide to marry? Equally yoked, what I'm trying to say is in okay. the same faith, believing the same thing. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was, that was a good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to answer that. <laughs> You got me. He's like, wow. He's like, man, these ribs Next. are good. <laughs> Boy. Man, I can't even stop it. I mean, these ribs too fast. <laughs> okay, so, you want to know my opinion on that? I do. I would love to know your opinion. I feel like and I what are you defining as equally yoked? I'm just saying. No, okay. Yeah, can you help us with that? Okay. When it comes to a relationship and religion, do you think it's important to have the same... Belief system. system. That's good, yeah. I know what's good, baby. Come over here. Come over here, Rhea. Barbie Rhea. Rhea. My baby. Baby, baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> sauce. It's Chili's baby. Really I know, but what? Yeah. Chili. That is a easy question to answer, but a tough one to truly define. Mm. So, from initial response, I would say he's about to start. He's about to talk for thirty minutes, y'all. So right. take, a nap, to be take a nap. One, y'all ask me this. There's no okay. Okay. okay the simple <laughs> answer is yes. I believe it's important for two people to be equally yoked. Mm-hmm. But, but I think there are variations to the definition of what equally yoked will be. Mm, okay. 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 For example, I have been in a very serious relationship where. I believed and still believe that we were equally yoked. However, our belief systems in terms of religion were different. Okay. However, we were able to respect each other's religion and understand what that would look like when we had children. What was that understanding? Because I feel like that's the tricky part. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you navigate that? Well, it was we raised the kids in exposing them to both faiths or both religion and then they can choose and when they are old enough what, they are able to choose no if we well, I mean, no, just talk about the sense yeah. if and yeah, when yeah. we were to have children um it would be we expose them to both we observe both um there's still an understanding of Sorry, what you need to stretch out yeah. of what head of household is <coughs> you know the things that are that were important to me but the same things that are important to her were recognized as well. Mm-hmm. Both religions were understood, observed, practiced in a sense, mm-hmm. respected. 
And then when the children were old enough to make the decision of what they chose to do, that that would be honored and respected as well. Hmm. So even though who I was with at the time was not a Christian, we went to church together. We were able to read the Bible together. We were able to pray and worship together. Mm. But at the same time, I got exposure to her religion and her culture. And it was a, it was a very modern, unique blend of, of what that meant. Yeah. Does that work for everyone? No. So you're saying basically <clears throat> that the key was communication. Absolutely. Absolutely. Communication is always key Absolutely. in everything. Absolutely. Lesson number three. Hands down. Communication. Was there a lesson <clears throat> one and two? The first one was to... I don't remember what's first. I think you just made that up. No, the first one, there was a lesson. The <laughs> I first think one you was, just made that up. I made a point about something. Basically, oh, no, to, to club owners, the club owners don't hire underage kids. Oh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. what was point number two? Point number two was, we just said point number two. Which was? I don't remember. You need to help me remember these points. No, no, no. no point number three, this communication. Is, this is not an argument. I'm not sure that I could do that, though. What? Dig someone of a different. She couldn't because she married to me. (laughs) (laughs) Point number point number three. Point number four. I guess I'll never know. Point number four. Let me lie. Don't date nobody if you're married. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) That's a very good point. That's such a good point. Okay. For real, for real. But yeah, I don't know that I could do that. What do you think? I think. I don't know. Me, I think it would be. It would definitely be challenging. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that, um, yeah, I mean, what Justin said, that's the only way to see if it would work would be if yeah. you guys talked about it. Yeah. And yeah. if you think that you guys have a good plan for it, you know, knowing that there are going to be some, some road, you know, some speed bumps yeah. along the way and yeah. some roadblocks, roadblocks, then, you know, I think that's the best way to do it. That doesn't mean it's not going to be tough and, uh, or it could, it could be very easy because you guys have prepared. Mm-hmm. So I think the way that Justin said it was, by the, but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I do agree that I think it's easier and I would be I would definitely prefer and I'm thankful yeah. that you and I had the same belief system. Absolutely. Um, now what I know that I wouldn't be able to do is be yoked up with a non believer. You got to believe in something. Believe, yeah. Like we're not about to be out here and you just atheist then no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh well she like to say all willy nilly. All willy nilly with like, your life. No, we ain't doing that bro. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. So now, don't get it twisted. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes. But at the same time, I have this understanding view that we're more connected, more similar than what people mm-hmm. believe. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to use religion as such a, uh, such such a, a tool big for di- tool for division. Division, yeah. There should be a tool for yeah, yeah. So bringing, bringing, people. bringing people together. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Different, I mean, everybody, every person is, is different. So... <laughs> If you embrace those, you know the the differences and learn about the differences. That's where mm-hmm. you can come together, and mm-hmm. you know. You ate all the ribs, Shawty. Well, you put in work. Dang. I mean, it was it was. I mean, seven it was about the weekend. You seven. I have I have two look, done. We still got ribs. I mean, apparently, look, 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 lesson like, lesson look at number. My, look at my foot. Uh, lesson number five. Don't talk so much when you're eating ribs. <laughs> what I tell you? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you his people. <clears throat> They mess them up, man. I'm saying. Lesson number six. Don't be racist. Why are you doing a mock bong? I'm not being racist. Mock bong? bong? Mock bong? She's looking at more uh, questions. Yeah, you keep got something like questions. Too. When did you ask all this? Earlier today? Honey, well, y'all was gone for 18 hours to get well, the food. I mean, we, we didn't get the, that many We had to slaughter the pig. So. We had to grow the <laughs> vegetables. Yeah. What do you think we was out there doing? This was one. I think a good topic should be what some hit songs were back when y'all were in y'all early 20s. Girl, I'm still in my early 20s. What? No. We never <laughs> left our early 20s. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Anything TLC. Oh, gosh. Absolutely. Anything. TLC. I'm sorry. R. Kelly. R. Kelly. You know. Boys wait, and Men was wait, younger. Wait, wait, you were younger. Boys and Men? Wait. Is that anything Boys and Men? Go ahead. What are we talking about? 2000s? Are we talking about like just boys to men. you said boys to men boys you said anything boys to men i mean boys to men was still but like their big stuff was when we were like in middle ninth, school ninth grade yeah but are we talking about middle school or high school 20s early 20s early 20s oh. what year was that oh that's college oh so r kelly had hits still r kelly ignition r kelly 
Uh, uh, I'm gonna ask y'all y'all opinion on R. Kelly though, because I feel like people gonna go in on us because we talk about R. Kelly. Yeah, like he how? <clears throat> because I used to feel like I could separate artistry from the personal. artistry from his personal, but I feel like there's some blur. There's he blurred the line. Big yeah, time. like it's difficult now. Is you it? know what I'm saying? I feel like it well, is because what eclectic great artist does not have issues? See, and that's my thing. It's even, like people even, are like, "Oh, I'm gonna swear him off. He's no. a pedophile. He's a this. He's a that." But I mean, we even, all sinners. Even, Let's talk about I'm that. I'm talking about scholastic we individuals, artists. I'm talking about no, painters. Yeah. I'm talking about musicians. There are a lot of people that had some really jacked up pasts. A lot of people cutting off ears. That have amazingly great, like. like Create like whatever yeah, their creative, creative yeah. is. So I think it's, for being womanizers, to, I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, then, I, mean, I think, think people pick and choose. I think like, about like, who they want to support and who they don't want to support because it's like because you don't know what it was going on behind closed saying, doors with everybody. Yeah. You could be supporting somebody else. This, uh, I mean, you know, an abuser I mean, or about whatever. It. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like think about it. like you think. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, Pac is a great example. Pac is, I mean, all time. I mean, it's Pac. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, if you like rap music, then you like pop. I yeah. mean, that's it. Like, um, but I mean, he wasn't like, it's not like he was like the best, the best, you know, character all the time, right? It's not like he did, did everything perfectly. I mean, he had, he made mistakes just like anybody else. But I don't think of Tupac as like, I think of for his music that he made. Like, his music is great. Yeah, but Tupac went off on sleeping with young girls. Like, I feel like that's such a sensitive. Well, yeah, no. The, offense. I think with a guy that like, it, it kind of yeah. separates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think like, with, with a guy like R. Kelly I think that you ha- because of the stuff I think that you have to separate like he, he, I mean, there's nobody's ever going to say that R. Kelly doesn't have a great music. Yeah. Right. But like I mean we're talking about the old stuff we grew up on. Yeah. Whereas, I mean R. Kelly got hit. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, a, I'm an R. Kelly fan. Like, if we want to put it out there, let's put it out there. I mean, we all grew up on the Cosby Show. I was just about to say that. Yeah, How I mean, many of y'all are boycotting the Cosby Show? <coughs> but, I bet y'all still watching them. But, but what did the Cosby Show do for <coughs> not just Black America, but for America? Period. During mm-hmm. the time that it came out. Yeah. Granted, if the allegations I mean, I'm are not true really sure or that false, R. Kelly's mu- music helped our America. But, no, but but just in artistry in itself, just music. Itself, I mean, it, it was great it was music. good music. It's good it was. Music. Yeah, it was really good. It is good music. It is good music. He's a, he's like, a guy that I'm led. I'm stepping the name of the love if it came saying. on. That's like, what he's a guy that led, <clears throat> led like the charts for a long time. I mean, yeah. R. Kelly. So, like, I think that what he what he has done as a person outside of his music, you know, if it's all true, is horrible. But then it's like you know I mean? the argument is: Are you? If you're supporting his music still, are you saying I'm, it's okay for him to do what he's I'm doing? I'm not buying R. Kelly life? albums at this point. Well, I mean, at this point, I've already got them, so... Yeah. I'm not turning off the <laughs> radio saying, every time a song like, comes. I mean, you know, it's like... Yeah, but it's like, do I need to be that... That that doesn't like... like what is that doing? Rigid, where if R. Kelly comes on the radio, I'm like, no, we're not listening to that. I mean... It's on the radio. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't know. Because, I mean, obviously, no, I don't agree with with what he's done and what he's doing. Like, I just watched this interview where his wife, like, was speaking up, speaking out against being abused by him. And how she was almost getting ready to to actually kill herself. She was, like, on the ledge, on the balcony. I didn't know that. And I I just watched this yet, like, this morning or last night. And she was on the balcony getting ready to, like, jump. And she just, like, God just gave her a vision. She saw herself... On the ground, in blood. She heard her kids Mm. screaming, uh, you know, for her. And she was like, God, please just give me a sign. Give me a sign. Not tomorrow. Not right now. And he said, he told her to look up domestic domestic violence. So she went to her computer and she looked up domestic violence. And she scrolling, 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 scrolling. And at the end of it, it was like a 17 question, 17 questions about if you, you know, if you're you're an abuser, you've been abused. If you've gone through these things, yeah. and she said that he had did fifteen out of the seventeen things. Okay, so yeah. if R. Kelly song come on, turn that off. Lesson number seven: <laughs> Turn off any R. Kelly song that you hear. Don't buy no albums. So it's like take your albums back to the man. record store. But then you think about it, it's like what are all these artists out here that we are praising and that we loving? What are they doing beside, behind closed doors that we don't know about? You know what I'm saying? I, so it's I like... I think artistry is separate from the person. 
And I mean, think about it. If the person didn't make money or make all these profits off the stuff they were doing with their art, with their talent, would it still be respected or have anything? I mean, because it's the same example like the Cosby Show, like with with Bill Cosby. In a like, different world. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Those are like yeah. So like Bill Cosby. Mental. Yeah, Bill Cosby. <laughs> huge. Bill Cosby. It doesn't make him any less of a good actor, right? right? Or a good creator. Or a good creator. Producer. He's just not a good person. He may not be a good person. Like, you know, he yeah. made bad, very bad, very personal bad choices. choices. Yeah. But his art. But it's still his art is still good. It, right? It, it meant a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think it it's so I think it's doors. aware when it when it comes to that stuff. Like nobody can say that R. Kelly isn't a great artist. Musician. Like, are there athletes that are horrible people? But absolutely, awesome athletes? absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't. It just but be, folks don't be bullied because they them do football games when they and do them stupid stuff. Games. Then all of a sudden, you know, for <clears> instance, <throat> like the you know the Rice character, what his name was, that you know hit his wife in the elevator. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. He got punished. The NFL punished him, and, and rightfully so. Yeah. Um, but it didn't make him any less of a good football player, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he still yeah. could have played football somewhere. He still did his job. Mm-hmm. You know, we know he lost his job. They, they made no, it. I was saying he's but still he still doing, could. Though. He was yeah. still good at. He still could have went and played football yeah, somewhere. Yeah. So it's just it's about the separating the what they do for a living, unless they're like working with kids or like what I mean. I don't know. There's, there's so many yeah, different it's factors. Just, it's, in a, it. it's not like a murky. It's such a, murky water. Yeah, but no, what all of those guys we've mentioned has have done is wrong. Absolutely. Like absolutely, absolutely. there's absolutely. no question in that. Yeah, um, it's just it's just interesting. Dynamic. Man. Y'all making me drink more of my cream soda. There's so many people. And I think the thing is, too, because I was going to say, I was going to use, like, Chris Brown as Chris. an example. Mm-hmm. And how I feel like at this point, a lot of people have forgiven him and given him, you know, benefit of the doubt, a second chance. He was young, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But the thing with R. Kelly is, like, this is your life, bro. Like, this didn't yeah. happen just one time. Like you know what I'm still, saying? Like, it it's, like a, it's a recurring thing. It seems like it's something recurring. And you're, like, and you're, okay. Like, you, you're just not going to learn from there's this. There's no excuse like, at this point. Yeah, yeah. There's no excuse for him. No excuse at this yeah, point. Yeah, so like, I think that that's the difference. I don't you know. You continue to do the same thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so, back to the music. Who else? Music? Yeah, that's, that's how we got on. I mean, Jagged Edge was hot. Man. Jagged Edge was the truth. 112. Yeah. Right? 112. Man. Man. Who else Ain't was nobody that? gonna... Mm-hmm. When did Butter Love come out? Mm-hmm. Who was that? that? What is that? So, that, like, H-Town Was it Next? And next? Next and... It was next. next Butter Love? Next. Was it Next? Okay. Yeah, next. I think that was in the 2000s. And then Drew Hill? Drew Hill was hot. Oh, gosh. Absolutely. Cisco? Drew he Hill. had a couple... He had a couple... Anything, anything yeah. pre-thong song. Yeah, I don't. I, was I think the complete was remember. dope. The incomplete was dope. The incomplete was. Was that after the thong song? It was after the thong song. It was the same album, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. What was, what was what bigger in two thousand? Was it was it DMX or Jigga? I mean, Jigga is always them, both like. of them. Yeah, Jay Z was starting. Jigga, Jigga was. was I mean, Jigga was always hot at that point. Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child, man. Come on, we can't forget about. I them. met Destiny's Child. Heck, I was still you met bu- them. I met Destiny's Child. Did you? I didn't tell you about that when what they was first was came out. Were they at the Black Expert? What was her name? Black Expert. What was her name? Same name, same name. They were at Indiana Black Expo. It was our junior year of high school. Mm, I did I IBE that. summer celebration. I got a pass to interview all the celebs that were there. I walked up to Beyonce and they had their little single. It was pink That's with crazy. the original four and they all signed yeah. it for me. And then Beyonce oh. gave me the CD and kissed me on the cheek and said, you are so sweet. <laughs> He remembered. He's still holding on. Okay. Oh, I still got the autograph. I still got. Do you really? Hey, hey, Beyonce. I know you just want a brother with big lips. It's me. You miss him out. She settled for Jay Z. Okay, well, I'm a little short. (laughs) You a lot short. I'm a little short, but I'm I'm still working on it. I ain't giving up. (laughs) Right. But no, that I, I I was. I had to be younger than that. It had to be sophomore. Year. That's crazy. Freshman was it year. freshman year? I was like fourteen. I don't remember. I remember the coming, I but driving. I don't remember what year it was. It had to be freshman or sophomore year. Mm-hmm. I did not have a car. Yeah. And I was just young. That was before probe. 
Hey, that's bef- hey, but yeah. that's before they blew up because to get them in Indiana. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> they were still not to downplay our city. No. I'm just saying. I mean, we made some we major, major strides, strides, but we're talking about back in the 2000s. 2000s okay. okay, we're talking about in the 90s because you were still in high school. That year, everyone was there. So Beyonce was, or Destiny Shaw was there. Uh-huh. Drew Hill was there. Oh, Genuine was, oh, was that, there. Oh. Genuine, we forgot about yeah. him. Um, and Drew Hill was like just coming out. Like they just started, people really know who they were. Oh, Eminem, Eminem, Eminem. was hot. Oh, he Eminem was. was hot. You're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. He was definitely hot. Man, what man, else? That was back in the day. Good music, man. That's Good when music. I remember back in high school. You remember the box? Yeah. Yes, what? Channel Forty Seven. Yes. Yeah. Did y'all have a box? Was that the, like oh. a local thing, or was that I like? I don't know. I thought everyone had the box. It you, was like if you didn't have cable, you had Channel Forty Seven, and you could like call in. <laughs> and, it was like a one nine hundred number or yeah, something. Request, and request a song, request, or request a, song, a video, or like a you know, video. Yeah. You know who else was hot? Who? Still in that mo- like Bone Thugs and Harmony. They, yeah. In the two thousand. Because they came out of Midwest. Because they had East nineteen ninety nine, and then but then after that they had like. Uh, they had Crossroads. Boom, they had. Boom, 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 they had. Um, boom, 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 what else? Boom, boom, then they came out with. Um, what's the two? The dude. The, the double. The dual disc um, album. They came out. Oh, with. Andre. Uh, Three thousand. No, no, no. I'm talking about Bone. They came out with a. A dual. Oh, they sure did. It was about like a war. Dual. Something they about war. They did. They did. Yeah, yeah. They did. Me and my mom used to bump. Y'all see my mom? She <laughs> used to let me bump <laughs> Bone Thugs and Harmony in the car. Right. She didn't have a clue what they were saying. She's like, they're just talking so dang fast. <laughs> <laughs> she had no clue what she was listening Nothing. to. Nothing. Uh, I, I regret to say my first tape that I ever bought. Insane? No. Insane. Backstreet Boys? No. Was was the Chronic album 2000. Mm-hmm. I had to be in like, I wasn't even, in, I was barely in middle school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's the first tape I bought my money from any other black expo. Now the first tape that I had <laughs> It was like MC Hammer. Oh yeah. Or no, back before was that. MC Hammer in the nineties. He was in the nineties. Yeah, it was the Batman, the first Batman movie that came out. That soundtrack. Oh, that was the first I've tape I remember. Let me see what else. Before was that, high, man. Who else was high in the early two thousand? There's so many. Before man. that, it was my dad's tape. I still I think it was the Gap Band. Really? That's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, I mean Master P. Oh, no limit. Yo, Master P in high school. No limit. The uh, skating rink on the west side. Man. Like it was, yeah. it was. Did you ever go to no Family limit. Soul Skate on Sundays? No. We used to go every Sunday no. to Family Soul That's Skate, funny. and yeah, I no. wish that mm-hmm. I would have kept that up because I never really like I knew how to. Did skate. you skate skate? No, like you had I your knew own how to skates? skate. I did have my own skates, but I didn't know how to skate skate. Was your mom like, a good skater? Yeah, she was a good skater. Really? She was a good skater, but I wasn't like shuffling and oh, so, going extra fast. And so, mom, she I got her, she got skates with her name on it. And Seriously? She, does she? Who your mom? Real mom? Oh no, her name wasn't on it, but she oh, had her own skates. She no. still got her own skates. We, let's she go taught to me the how ring. to skate bas- backwards, but let's go to the I can never get like the fast shuffle. I actually bought roller skates. And like rollerblade. Three months ago, because I was going to start practicing and a skateboard. on the hardwood. I didn't buy no skateboard, but I was and a start practicing board. on the hardwood. I'm like, I'm trying to roll. She's like, I'm about to do this something in this, in like, this place. I need to be going I'm pretty out. fast, touching I'm the out. ground, spinning around. You know wait, how they wait. be lifting up their legs. Did you say roll bounce? <laughs> you know what? I've never even you, seen that movie. You, I just you know, know that it's about, <laughs> about <laughs> no about weezing. I want to be roll well, bouncing. Yeah, I'm saying I'm like, a roll bouncing. I'm roll bouncing. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, my bad, bad boy. I mean, Shad myself. Moss. Shh. Every time at USA Skates, when it said, okay, this is for backward skaters only. Yes. Yes. Backward skaters only. And I would be so happy because uh, I knew how to skate. I'd scurry off and try to get to the middle. Yeah, I'd have to like go inside. Like, hey, right. Thanks, mom. And just stand there like. And that. everybody was just smooth. They was just like, they were stepping, but skating at the same time. They, they just. Well, our, it only be like our videographer for our music video, uh, Brandon, yeah. he's a really good skater. So he's really good. I mean, he's like yeah. out there doing the... All look, of that. The, let's the, go yeah. skate. When we going to skate? We going to go skate tomorrow? Let's take the boys skating tomorrow. I'm down. We going to swim, skate, and, and go to the movie? movies. Why not? <laughs> Well, apparently we need to go to bed because we've got a long day tomorrow. The boys are already in bed. They're already. They should. They're cold well, work for. I want to go to bed. Can they we have go a, to the chat room and they watch have a movie? Pallets on the floor. They were watching a movie. But I'm, they are I'm not there. Chad Junior. Chad thing. Junior was yeah. like, uh, "Will you come back and lay with me after you eat?" I'm like, "Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'll be back." Sure. Yeah, knowing he'll be asleep in ten minutes. <laughs> right. But um. Yeah, that was all the questions we had. 
Well, I think it's all the time we got. Mm. Oh, man. Y'all didn't even get to see our dessert. That's Cookies why I stopped eating cream. my ribs. Cookies and ice cream. Oh. I got to get my pizookie on. It's about to be good. Get your pizookie on? <laughs> yeah, you like that, right? We're, ne- we're going to need on. you to go to Yeah, that room. sounds very inappropriate. <laughs> we're going to need you like to go to the other room. So we get pizookie does not sound inappropriate. Say, give me some of that pizookie. Give me some of that pizookie. Oh, okay. Say times real Give me some pizookie. Pizookie, pizookie, pizookie. You think it sounds bad? You can't say it three times, can you? Nope. If I walked out in public and say, "Hey, sweetheart, are you gonna give me some pizookie tonight?" Right. Would it sound appropriate? Right. Would it sound appro- inappropriate if I? Hey, say- dog, what you over to eat, y'all? I got some of this pizookie. I'm, I'm eating some pizookie right now. First of all, if you eating some pizookie, you better not be answering your phone. True. <laughs> True. Like, True. I don't know what I'm saying. That so, conversation so is not look, gonna go down. Lesson number seven. <laughs> Don't talk and eat. Don't talk at the about Pazuki in public, okay? Take it on both of them. So look, there are lessons learned in this. <sighs> Hopefully, Everything. you guys enjoyed our yes. first mukbang. If you want to see more mukbang. of these, mukbang. which will obviously not mukbang. include him because he won't be here. I know. Um, it's one night only. One night only, so <laughs> oh, you get to be in the first one. one. You get to be in the first one. Man. I know you're our first guest. We should mm. have guests for our mukbang. That's right. Mook so, oh. let us know what you think. Um, right. Yes, thumbs up if you yes. like to see more. Also, give us food Shout ideas. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, what do you want to see us eat? Shout out to everybody that voted mm-hmm. if they wanted to see a regular uh, like thing versus. Because it's been a, weird doing the ASMR, ASMR one. ASMR one. I what still it? do want to try do that. I'm going to try it and put it on the game face. Hey, can I eat that basuki, girl? <laughs> 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 I really thought you were about to say something. I did too. I was like, oh, it's going to be like, bet. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <you're good. laughs> With, all right. Good night. Get leave. All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Deuces. You got it locked. It was meant to be. So keep it right here, Gay Bay TV. All my peeps in the place with a smile on their face. You know we keeping it real, but it's all heart shaped love. <laughs>